<gasps> oh, there's pink. Oh, I like that pink. Even on a breezy evening in 48. Maybe the light purple. This one? Yeah. You can get a warm welcome on the hill. Mm -hmm. I like to do material. Just to add some razzle dazzle to it. In this room, Tiffany Baker Ramsey is mm -hmm. the teacher. Cut that long string at the end on the left side. They've never done it before. They take it, they, they're like, oh wow, this is hard, but it's doable. And what they're doing is known as par flesh, a Native American tradition that before this evening was foreign even to these Native women. I've never um, experienced these. Yeah, I was never exposed to any of this stuff at all, so this is pretty cool. It works by taking a piece of hide and then cutting out a form. Well, I have to poke holes through this, match these up, and then run the sinew through it. Parflesh is a French term. At one point, containers like this were made out of rawhide, and tribes living on the plains would take them along with them on hunting trips or when they were moving from one place to another. You know, we didn't have, like, materials. We didn't have cotton. We didn't have um, satin, all these, you know, materials. We had, we had hide. We had... Um, Leather, we had rawhide. That meant their ancestors had to be resourceful. But with just a few materials in a few hours, one person can turn out a handcrafted keepsake. I really like it. I think it's so beautiful. Um, it's just like one of the most, I don't know, like, I, like you know, you go to a powwow or something and you see people with like beadwork. You see everybody with beadwork. Um, you don't see that many people with parflesh. I'm anxious to see a finished product. <laughs> I don't know that I'll finish tonight, though. I, I feel like you will. Oh, you think I, I will? So what should I do next? Lisa McLaughlin is working on a handbag she can take with her to the Kentucky Derby next spring. I was fortunate enough to get tickets, very good tickets, at right up above the finish line. The race is still months away, so McLaughlin has plenty of time to add finishing touches and color. The Par Flesh class is being offered by Sitting Bull College, a chance to teach and keep alive Native traditions with a new audience. Because it's our culture, it's been here forever with us, so to learn that is more meaningful to me, especially I'm a middle school teacher, so the things I've been learning are things I would like to take to our middle school and teach our kids. Nobody's going to pick this up if we keep holding that in and not sharing it. So I always just try to make sure that I'm, like every once in a while I'm like, oh, I don't wanna share my tricks, but then I'm like, I'm gonna share my tricks. And Baker Ramsey is well practiced after doing par flesh for 10 years. Every single time I'm making a piece, whether it's a little small pouch or a big giant piece, I think of that. Like I, I'm always like, I wonder how you know, my great, great, great grandmother would have done this. A few generations removed from Lakota life on the prairie, these women now all have full-time jobs and busy lives, but for one evening, they're able to find a common bond in this creative art. Stepping away from your personal life, your job, and just being able to be in the moment and creating something good. <laughs> Ooh, that looks cute. In Fort Yates, Joel Porter for KX News. Yeah.